Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation with the natural logarithm. We have a to the power ln a equals 3 to the power ln 3. And we're going to be solving for a values. I know what you're thinking at this point. You're like, hey, this is too easy. I can do this in three seconds. Maybe half a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at this, uh, you know, a little deeper. So we're, we're going to start by ln in both sides. So ln both sides. If you do, you're going to get something like this. ln a to the power ln a equals ln 3 to the power ln 3. Okay. Even before you ln, so it's kind of obvious that a equals 3 is going to work, right? But our question is, is there more than one solution? All right. Let's go ahead and move these to the front. So it's going to give us ln a times ln a, which is ln a squared. And the right hand side is going to be ln 3 squared. Because when I move this, it's just going to be ln 3 times ln 3. And it's the same quantity multiplied by itself. Great. So when two squares are equal to each other, it has two meanings. You can put them on the same side, do the difference of two squared thing, or you can think about it this way. Uh, ln a equals ln 3 or ln a equals negative ln 3. So here's how the, you know, uh, difference of two squares works. If y squared equals x squared, then you can write this as y squared minus x squared equals 0, and then y plus x y minus x is equal to 0. From here, you get the two results, y equals x or y equals negative x. Great, so we have two equations now, and that could indicate that there are at least two solutions, right? We know the obvious one, but let's go ahead and explore a little bit more. So this first equation, ln a equals ln 3, obviously gives us a equals 3. That's one of the solutions. How about the second one? Now, there are two ways to go about this. So two ways to find solutions for you. I'm going to uh, present both methods. So the first method, uh, let's just call that first, all right, uh, is going to be the following. I'm going to write the negative as negative 1 times ln 3, and then just move this over here. And it's going to look like ln a equals ln 3 to the power negative 1. Now, if ln something equals ln something else, then those things are equal. a equals 3 to the power negative 1. And from here, you can write it as 1 third. Awesome. The second approach for finding the value of a from here is, remember, our equation is ln a equals negative ln 3. I'd like to put both of them on the same side. So add ln 3. You get 0 using properties of logs. Remember, if you have a sum of logs, you can write it as a log of a product, so ln 3a equals 0. And ln what equals 0? The answer is 1. So this must be 1, which means 3a equals 1, and this indicates the same thing, a equals 1 third. Great. So there's different ways to go about it, whichever you like better. So we've, we've found so far two values for a. a equals 3 and a equals 1 third. So are, are those the only solutions? Let's go ahead and explore a little bit more. Uh, let's check this uh, as a function. So suppose, uh, by the way, when I said ln a equals ln 3, we only got one solution because if you look at the ln function, ln x, uh, it's always increasing. If you differentiate it, you're going to get 1 over x, which is positive for x greater than 0. And x is always greater than 0 because uh, that's where ln function is defined for reals. For reals. So now we got those two solutions, but let's go ahead and take a look at uh, another function, which is x to the power ln x. Let's call that y, not f or g, whatever. And let's do the same thing pretty much. But ln both sides first, like before, and you get ln x quantity squared. Now I would like to differenti bo differentiate both sides, but remember y is a uh, function of x, so it's going to be kind of implicit y prime over y, you're going to use the chain rule. And uh, this is going to be the power, 2 to the power uh, 2 times ln x. And then you have to multiply by the chain rule again, multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 1 over x. Awesome. Now, if you put it together, it's going to look like this. y prime equals 2y ln x divided by x. But y is 
x to the power ln x. So we can write it as 2x to the power x ln x divided by x. You can kind of divide by x and cancel out, but this is good. Uh, remember, x must be positive, so we don't have 0 at the bottom, so that's good. But set this equal to 0. Uh, y prime is 0. This can't be 0, right? As you know, x to the power x cannot be 0. And for reals. Uh, so only l and x can be 0. That means x is equal to 1, right? So from here, x equals 1. Great. Uh, at x equals 1, here's what happens. Let's go ahead and make a quick table. x, y prime, and y. And 1 is critical. And notice that if x is greater than 1 here, um, the derivative is going to be positive because pretty much everything else is positive. So we're going to get a plus sign and a minus sign, which means our function is decreasing and then increasing, which means it is going to have a minimum at 1. And if you plug in 1 for x, you're going to get a 0. So 1 comma 0 is going to be a minimum for the function. I'm going to show you the graph of the function so you'll have a better idea. And that way, um, you know, uh, you'll get a much better view than what I was talking about. Okay, here we go. Here's our graph uh, of uh, y equals x to the power ln x. And then I kind of compare it to the horizontal line. And as you can see here, there are two intersection points. It's kind of like a curve with like polynomials, but it's not polynomial or you know, not uh, quartic or quadratic, whatever, but it, it curves like that. So you're only going to have two solutions. So x equals 3 and x equals 1 third are the only solutions we are getting from here. And this brings us to the end of this video. To the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.